excuse me posing there for a little bit, but even though I still have a spare tire around the middle, I have lost 30 pounds since last March, and I'm kind of proud of that as I've kind of literally worked my ass off a little bit for it. Gun Drama Johnny started back in May or June with a uh, journey to health because he had let his spare tire overgrow his, uh, you know, one of those belts that he's always promoting. So I want to make, I want to get into the clang and bang and uh, fit and fire uh, era here and maybe make a workout video. Now, this isn't going to be any workout video. This video is inspired by Representative Sheila Jackson Lee. A caliber weapon. I've held an AR-15 in my hand. I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Uh, and the bullet that is utilized, a 50 caliber, these kinds of bullets, uh, need to be licensed and do not need to be on the streets. Now you see I've included an M1 Garand here. And that's just for warm-ups, because everyone knows that an M1 Garand is much lighter than an AR-15. Now I have my specially reinforced table here holding up my weight set. Uh, everything from an AR pistol, which actually only weighs as much as three moving boxes, all the way up to my A1 style Brownells Retro, which does weigh as much as ten moving boxes. I also have magazines with various amounts of 50 caliber bullets in there, so that's good for like one arm, curls, and, and lighter exercises. So, let's get with the exercise video. First of all, you need to do a little cardio. And the best way to do cardio using this workout is just to sling one of your AR-15s over your back. Now this adds anywhere from 50% of your body weight up to your full body weight, going by Miss Jackson Lee's uh, weight estimate. And this will give you one hell of a workout, just, you know, hiking a couple miles or if, you, or if you're really in shape going on a run. I mean, this is already hurting my back right now, slinging this A1 rifle. Now, as you can see, I don't have a real bench since I normally work out at a gym, but if you're just starting out, two chairs and a board will do. So, let's, uh, first thing we're going to try is chest and triceps. This should be a this should be one of your day workout. Now, as I said, you need to you need to uh, warm up with something light. So, of course, you got this in one grand because everybody knows that you know, this is just you know nothing compared to an, an AR-15. So, warm up with this a little bit. All right, let's just get this light piece of crap out of here now, and let's go for some of the real workout. Yeah, this is feeling the burn a little bit, the M4 style. Now this one I probably should have a spot or like probably only this is like light type max here. Now if you want to add more to the weight of the N1, just add a magazine. And now for triceps, just you know, it matters how uh, how spunky you're feeling that day. I, I'm just going to use one of these these magazines filled with the 50 caliber bullets. So just tricep pull with that. Do a few sets of that. Yeah, feel the burn. So that'd be a basic chest and tricep workout. Day two, try back and biceps. Make sure you have good form. Keep your back straight as you go down doing a Romanian deadlift. That works out the back. Okay, I gotta put this down. And of course, the, the thing we gotta do for biceps, curls for the girls, just. And make sure you do an equal amount on each arm. Simple back and bicep workout. And if you wanna go a little more advanced, uh, you know, make sure you do uh, pull-ups.
This is the monster that really did this quads and hammies. And if you have trouble doing it freestanding, you can always just go down to the bench and stand up from the bench. If your weight behind, if your weight's still on your back, just do your toe raises. And that works out the calves. want a good shoulder workout because you don't want your biceps and triceps out to your shoulders. So strong enough, grab two M4s and just do several sets of shoulder shrugs. And that really works out the trapezius. Another way to work on shoulders is your military press. You want to bring your M4 back and do several sets of your, of your military press. Now, I like to superset the shoulder shrugs and military press. Finally, your shoulder, finally on your shoulders, your shoulder raises. Several sets like that. And then of course several sets that way. And you'll really feel your shoulders pop by the end of the day. Either figuratively, which means they get bigger, or literally, which means there's something wrong. So anyway, just a workout video inspired by Sheila Jackson Lee because as we all know, a member of the House of Representatives will never lie to us to try to pass gun control. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.